Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shake here, and welcome to Space Engineers Maxed Out Multiplayer on a client server. So what this means is we maxed out a client-hosted server on my second rig, my editing rig. And you can see everybody spotting in right now at the at the med bay that I just placed down with God Mode on. Now the POV you're gonna be watching is the POV from my hosted rig. I'm in there somewhere on my actual you know gaming rig to, to test this with the guys, but we're gonna be watching this from eh, from my 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 host's rig. Now the max player count is 16, and we did max that out. And you're gonna be able to see in just a few seconds. I'm gonna go into time lapse mode, and you're gonna see what 16 players can do in Space Engineers in just a couple of hours. And it was a ton of fun. Now we did have some issues with the client software. The the sims p dropped to about uh, 0.5 for a while, 0.6 after we started building like the basics of a base. And that's that's really low, right? That means the server is running at half the speed it should be. Now we're in the uh, the time lapse portion of it. Now, we we probably did this for like two, I think maybe three hours of just kind of derping around and having a good time. I, I set the goal of survive. Like that's all you've got to do is just hang in there, survive, build a base, and let's just see what we can do. So the guys just went for it. They started tearing down the red ship, if you recognize the red ship from the first RP series that we did on the channel here on XP Gamers. Uh, it's one of the starts that you can choose where you get like half of the red ship. It's got just enough for you to get started, plus a bunch of extra resources and like the engines and whatnot. Uh, one of the guys had a really good idea to cut off the engine pod, much like we did in our first RP series, myself and Valefor. Uh, where they cut this pot off and they added another thruster to it, which at one point they forgot, like everything that I built, they forgot to put a thruster on the other side to stop it from floating off. So you'll notice it just kind of disappear off the screen for a little bit. That would be it floating away and everybody rushing over to try to rep it up. Now, you know, putting a thruster on it. Now, sadly, I didn't record my POV, but there was a a bunch of hilarity that ensued with just issues like that and trying to get the resources together and people like dogpiling on and trying to build a mining ship and get that operational. Our first initial base uh, had you know, a couple of solar panels and that was it. And we happened to take apart some things that we desperately needed to survive. Like one person took apart the med bay and we couldn't respawn. And obviously people are accidentally killing themselves and whatnot. But anyways, we got the basic base down and this is where we came, we ran into an issue. Uh, right now, those two solar panels that you see aren't finished. They actually were finished. We couldn't weld them anymore. And now about half of the people on the server couldn't weld, couldn't grind, couldn't build. Some of them could build, but couldn't grind. Some of them couldn't, you know, uh, weld things, but they could grind things. It was a really weird disconnect. Uh, even me as the server host couldn't see everything that was happening. Now, right here, the server was just restarted. And from here on out, it runs much better. I think we had a sim speed of about 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 at this point, which was a bit better than we had earlier. I don't know why. Uh, we even, you know, we the ship exploded. Somebody decided to to paint the the red ship for some reason. That really irritated me because yeah, it just looks goofy now. But anyways, we started flushing out the rest of the base, um, coming up with just random structures. At one point, one of the guys, there's the blue ship coming in. Uh, we've, I think we've got a miner up by now, or have we built it? No, the beginning of the miner has just started. You can see it there on the landing pad. The guys are starting to put it together. We're starting to mine resources. A couple of people are out and they're scanning for more resources. Uh, all we had here was like iron and magnesium, I think, on the asteroid. But you can see how quickly something like this moves. Now, if they can get the server uh, tech out for this, finally, so we're not using the old tech, and we can actually host 16 people smoothly at a uh, sim speed of 1.0 and actually have ships flying around and fighting each other or having some type of objective. I mean, Space Engineers could be absolutely amazing, but we've been talking about this, about having working multiplayer uh, to a much larger scale of, because right now, Space Engineers is stable between maybe four and eight people, maybe. It depends on what you want to do, and then if you get into any kind of action, it gets really wonky. But if they can fix that, I mean, we had a ton of fun at 0.7 sim speed here after we worked through some of the issues. You can see the red ship is just disintegrating in the background because there's four of us working on it. I'm actually building this tumorous looking thing coming at the camera, that big structure. Uh, we still haven't figured out what we want to do with that. Uh, I did make it a, an objective for the group to set up enough pods for everybody, cryopods, so we could all log out inside them in case I needed to restart the server again, so. This actually, now keep in mind, what this structure would have taken forever for one or two people to build. It took us maybe two and a half hours with a lot of just messing around 
uh, to construct this, and it's really haphazard, yet it came out really well. We even get like four docking bays. There you go, you can see the interior a bit. Um, you can see a few quick shots of like some of the rooms that we had constructed. We have uh, our refineries in there running. Of course, we've got our power supplies running. Uh, everybody had a lot of cool ideas on what we could do, what we could do with the resources. Everybody was working together to like go get resources and come back. And it made me want to just like, uh, there's the blue ship again. Made me want to just like give everybody a role and then have like a team leader for each one of the roles. Like, okay, you're going to be building us mining ships. We need at least five mining ships. And you, you're going to be building, you know, the hangar bays. You're the lead designer and you guys are going to be the welders and let's break it up and get as much done as we can. Um, if, if you could actually, you know, play with a much bigger population, breaking up the teams into, you know, crews for larger ships would be, I think, a really cool idea. Now, we don't have any planets on this. I wanted to test this with no planets uh, and no copy pasta. It is in survival mode. We had to mine all these resources or grind them up and everybody just broke off to do their own thing and the I think that was the coolest part because we didn't have that kind of organization. People just were like, I'm going to put stairs here. I'm going to put this here. I decided that, you know what, we should have a tower here after discussing it with a couple of the other guys. Uh, it just kind of blew up. And then everybody started building their little like fighters as we welded on the new hangar bays. This, this event, I think, got me really excited for what space engineers could be again. I mean, we used to talk about it all the time and then it, it kind of just stopped because of the issues that we've all run into. And I'm really hopeful for what Space Engineers could be when we get that new multiplayer patch. Like the things that we're gonna be able to do this are gonna be absolutely amazing. And there we are, all about to log out. Well guys, uh, this was a cool test and I plan on doing more. So come on over and join us over on the Discord. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Later everybody.